hello guys good morning good evening i am in the bedroom right now i'm going to teach you guys how to use hydrogen peroxide to wash your toilet it's very good hydrogen peroxide can clean away dead things things that is dead thing that is you think it cannot be clean anymore like cutting wood like things that you your cutting board like your bedroom all those black things in the toilet hydrogen peroxide is going to wipe it off you see like the black there that is what we are targeting the the black there you just take the hydrogen peroxide you have to wear your glove you take the hydrogen peroxide, you spray it on it. You see? Both the floor, you, you spray it on it. We leave it for five minutes. We leave it for five minutes. After five minutes, we clean now it's time to clean this is the sponge and I'm, I'm using so you have to add a little soap to the sponge okay when you add this to it you will not stress anymore to be cleaning it you see they will just be fading away me i don't like the black things in the toilet so it's better for you to use hydrogen peroxide is not cost in the pharmacy in the drugstore even you remember we spray it here After you are through with it, you pour water. Do you see the way it's shining? Do you still see the, the black? is no more. Only here. But it's no more. You see? And when you want it to be more clean, you can leave like the hydrogen peroxide to like 10 minutes or to 15 minutes when you don't have other things doing okay you see that is just it now we go to the toilet so now inside here you spray hydrogen peroxide, you spray it inside there. You add a little bit of baking soda to this fat, your toilet. You add it to it. Just leave it for five minutes. So now we add a little bit of soap to it. You take this and you just clean. It's not only when you have kids, but inside here is very important to clean even every day. This retail is like once in a week you put the hydrogen peroxide. Take away every dead thing that is not good that is in there. You flush. That is it, guys. If you have, you take a cloth and just clean here. You are done. Even here, you spray like 
hydrogen peroxide you just spray to it you add a little bit of baking soda just spray it just a spray to it you add a little bit of soap you take your wiper and use it you add it to your soap so the baking soda is there let me remove this hand soap so it will be shiny because when here is dirty me i can't brush so it's good for here to be shiny baking soda and hydrogen peroxide is it has a lot of use you can use it for a lot of things that I will share with you guys. That is it guys. You will see it shining. Don't forget to clean all here. It's included. What do you think guys? You see? That is it. Now we we'll go to the kitchen. So the kitchen, I just finished cooking. You take your hydrogen peroxide, spray on it. Spray it on it. Don't be afraid to spray it. When you finish spraying it, just add baking soda to it. Just add it to it. This is my spray bottle. It's water that is in there. You just remove the cover and spray it. You spray. Leave it for like five to ten minutes so as we are doing that up here in the kitchen is very important too you spray the hydrogen peroxide both in and out after spraying it in up there you take your clothes and remember the glove you have to change it because I changed my change it because I changed my that's why I always buy the bag because the one I use for the toilet you can't use it in the kitchen okay you just clean it up let it be shining let the breeze that is coming down there be good so now we'll wipe we'll clean it We clean again. You add a little more soap to it, just like that. We clean, spray water to it. So we we'll wipe the top. That is it, guys. Here is just that way. When you see, it's very clean. But it's just so. That is it. Everywhere is clean. You can see, it's sparkly. 
when you have a gas that you cannot see the line that means it's dirty you see that is it guys so here is not exceptional so we have to clean here also with hydrogen peroxide I, I do this just only on saturday i don't do the hydrogen peroxide every day sometimes you just use only the soap but but to disinfect you have to use hydrogen peroxide once in a while you spray please avoid your eye area you spray avoid the plate area so now so we have to clean here you spray water to it too just add a little bit of soap the soap that you have just add it to it me i've had a little bit of soap to it you just clean you clean it. all the shank I add soap to it again. See it's for the boat. It's not good to use something strong to wash this area because it's going to scratch. It's better to use a like soft cloth to wash the area. Best way. Hydrogen peroxide have a lot of use, a lot of use. So as you can see, here is sparkling. That is the way it's supposed to be. Sometimes when you are cooking, it can be messy, but don't worry. When you finish, you clean it up. Here is not exceptional. The work. It's not exceptional at all. You clean, you add salt to it. That is it, guys. What did you think? You see the Ajoji Peroxide there? It's good. Even up is not exceptional. You just take a piece of cloth and wipe. You are done, guys. We are done, guys. Like and subscribe. Share. Wash your kitchen and your bedroom. Tag me. Put a hashtag to me so that I will see and learn from you too. We are learning from each other. What I don't know, you know. What you don't know, I know. Iron sharpness, iron. Okay? I love you guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye. please subscribe like and share press the notification bell so that you will be the first to know when i upload